grow the farm up welcome back to the emergence video of the corn we planted in the last video as you can see the cover crop is laying down and the corn is growing up And look at this, somebody, I don't know who, just dug a hole and left us a shovel. Let's take a look. What was he looking for? Okay, corn root. Look at that, that's good, look at that. Roots still going deeper. Look at all those roots. Look at the roots going out and down. And there's a tap root in there even deeper. I can't pull that out. I would need to take a knife and there's more corn roots. See them? See do you see can you see them back in there? There's more corn roots back in there. Look at that. That is mycorrhiza fungi activity. Look at that tap root. It's still going. You see it? You can't I don't know if the camera's doing that justice, but it's right here. And it's still going. I mean, I don't know how deep it goes. Yeah, there, I just, I can, I can hear my, I just cut it. There, no, I didn't cut it. Look, there, it's still going. Interesting. Very good root structure on that corn plant so far. Look, look at how deep that root is. That root probably goes another four or five inches deep. And that plant is two, three leaves. Now, look, look at this soil here. Look at how porous, but mainly look at how full of organic matter the soil is. That's what we really need to look at here. Look at, look at how much root structure and rhizosphere there is in this soil. This is just a turned over spade. This is actually not the best soil I've got. This is some, uh, some clay or I should say a little more clay than uh, what I have around most of my farm. And look, look at this, it just crumbles, but it is full of organic matter and mycorrhiza fungi, humates, trichoderms, and pseudomonias. Look at all of these roots. This is all of the old root rhizosphere. It is now giving up all of its nutrients because this is what builds organic matter root structure below the ground down here hey where's my hand there we go root structure below the ground is what builds organic matter i found that you cannot build organic matter on a cash crops alone root structure and you can't build organic matter with surface residue whether it be this cover crop residue or whether it be a uh, cash crop, corn uh, stock residue. You're not gonna build organic matter that way. The only way to do it is to get roots growing in your soil like this. And you do that by planting cover crops, letting them overwinter, and then look at that. You get nice porous, I mean there's a, there's a hole right there in the soil from an earthworm. There's two, three, four, I don't know if if this camera's doing it justice. There's a hole right there. 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 There's an earthworm right there. Look at that. Just right right there, earth, earthworm. So this is really good uh, good example of the power of cover crops. I heard a lot of people talking about this nitrogen and phosphorus bomb and stuff. I, you know, I'll prescribe a little bit to it because I've seen uh, conventional soil tests for 20 years and they always say the same thing, which has always been interesting to me. They don't ever seem to change much no matter what you apply, which ought to tell you something. Mother Nature's, you know, it's not, and not, nothing to be trifled with. Mother Nature acts in a certain way. You kind of have to just strap on and hold on for the ride. 
But I have found once you get your organic matters up above 3%, 3.5%, 4%, boy, that'd be great. 5%, you kidding me? Man, be like farming in the rainforest. But once you get your organic matters up, what happens is it does make all of those nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, manganese, zinc, copper, boron. It makes all of those nutrients more available. And notice how, let's find a little guy. Here's a little guy. He just popped out of the ground three days ago. He just popped out of the ground five day, four or five days ago. Look at how green the tissue is. I notice a lot of uh, uh, guys that banned their nutrients. I mean, you guys are putting everything, all of your nutrients in a four inch, five inch wide band and then planting your seed into it. I, I call it chemical or chemistry farming. And the corn comes up white. Now eventually it turns green and looks like this, but it literally comes up white. That's always, I, I never really could uh, understand that. It, I, I think it's a, a, just a compound of all of the different chemistries that are being put into and right on top of the seed from in furrows, uh, liquid applications to applications banded before planting, applications banded the fall before. As you might tell, I'm really not a big fan of the strip till. I'm a fan of the no-till. I no-till for about four or five years, three to 45 years in cover crops and try to keep into cover crops. And then you know what I do? I bring out the, the soil destroyer, the disc, dun, dun, dun. The no-till church will be angry with me. And I disc it down. Cause after four or five or six years of uh, no-till, you need to go smooth out some of the ruts that you may have made. It's time to reset the field. And to me, regenerative farming is uh, really summed up. Let's simplify it. It means keeping a root alive 365 in your soil and just because it's negative 20 degrees outside doesn't mean there's not microbial activity six eight twelve inches deep in your soil all winter long there is well if you leave a root alive 365 you also leave a habitat for insects to overwinter so i have found uh, we have to what i call break the green bridge every three to four years and you do that by just disking her down with old conventional good old farming practices and you leave her lay bare for a winter and you break that green bridge and now you're set up for three or four or five years see that that's one of the pieces we're missing we're, we're trying to go too far and do too much if you want to make regenerative farming work at scale and i'm talking at scale with farmers across the midwest yes no till good no till great but you know what occasionally a farm needs a disc that's some pretty good looking dirt right there grow the farm up emergence video tell me what you think you want to see some more we'll go look at some more